hearing the woes of those who find their careers stall below the executive run underscores how crucial communication can be to that final step into the C-suite. Technical expertise can take you only so far. Repeatedly, C-level executives offer these comments about that skills gap. He's brilliant, technically very capable, but his executive briefings leave something to be desired. Or another comment, she's definitely on the fast track. We have our eye on her, but she's made a poor impression in meetings in front of several key people. Her communication skills really need polish. Or, Chris's unit brings in 60% of the revenue around here, but he's a loose cannon when he opens his mouth. Good thing his, he has a team who can communicate for him. If he loses two of his key people, he's in trouble. Based on more than three decades of hearing from C-suite officers about their expectations and then coaching those candidates they're, they'd like to promote, I offer these characteristics that mark polished communicators ready to move into that C-suite. First, think on your feet. Whether in an all-hands meeting, answering a colleague in the hallway, or responding to the media, you have to be quick, clear, and concise. And it's a plus if you're clever. You have to be able to express your thoughts extemporaneously. Another characteristic of communication that comes out of that C-suite, communicate the big idea. No one gets promoted for talking about the weather or other water cooler topics. Talk about big ideas. Three, make your data tell a story. Don't do data dumps as you present. Shape your information into a meaningful story. What point does the data lead to? Don't make your listeners do the work. Create the story they need to hear, supported with your facts. Another tip, another characteristic of communication in the C-suite. Become a great storyteller. Understand the value of real life stories, yours and those of your employees, your clients, your friends. Use those to drive your message both to the head and the heart. Stories make your point memorable. They don't need to be long to create impact. In fact, the shorter, typically the better. But do learn to tell your stories well. As Mark Twain admonished, don't tell me that the lady screamed, bring her on stage and let her scream. Another tip, another characteristic of C-suite communication. Cut through the clutter to find the core message and do it quickly. Great communicators summarize well. Strip away the details to find the sentence or the paragraph that sums up the essence of your message, your idea, your offer, your vision, your goal, or performance, and be able to do it at a moment's notice. Make brevity your hallmark. And then speak authentically. That is another characteristic. What you say and do should match who you are. Speak to express, not impress. Can you do both? Express and impress? Well, sure. Do all of the above and you'll impress. Not with your language, but with your ability to get a message across clearly, concisely, and credibly. Exactly the communication characteristics necessary to make that last step to the C-suite.